hired her going to have a going away party uh, when I so I said well sure yeah I know that's going to work I said what you're going to do is you're going to have a going away party after I leave you're going to have a party and <laughs> they uh, I really not up to having any going away party um uh, it's just something I don't uh I don't really get interested in there let's see uh we can we can bring up uh, uh some geocaching stories on here if you send it in to me at um send it to me at um, radio talk show 2013 at gmail.com or you can go to um, speakpipe.com slash hiker james and but there you only have 90 seconds to tell your story but if it's not going to be too much longer than that you can also also you can send what you have and then start over or start a new recording to finish your story there now um on on my website uh hiker hikerjamestalkshow.com you'll see uh, right there on the front of the page we're over on to the right where it says home and sending a voice message that if you click on sending a voice message it will go through and explain how you can actually send me a voice message for as long as you want and uh, right from your laptop or computer in your uh, start start uh, menu and I know a lot of people don't know that this is in in uh, computers or laptops, but it is. All you need is a microphone. If you have one built into your laptop, you're all set to go. Uh, they, uh, you just click on Start, go to All Programs, go to Accessories, and find Sound Recorder. When you click on that, a recorder pops up on your screen. You start recording, and there you go. Record what you want to say, and stop recording. And then after you stop it, the screen will pop up and have wants you to save that. And save it where you can find it easily. And open the email and click on email message to Radio Talk Show 2013 and Radio Show as the subject. And uh, click on insert and a screen will pop up. Find the save recording, click on it and send it. It's that easy. Try it once and you'll love it. Hey, I use that quite a bit myself just for other things uh, to record different things that I need to remember and and that. Of course, I right clicked on uh, when I went into my programs accessories and when I got to the sound recorder, I right clicked on it and uh, and uh, made a copy of it on my screen so that it's right there. Uh, I don't have to go through all that the second time to find it. I just go to my screen and click on it. So that's interesting because you can uh, record as long as you want. Um, if you do send one in on that, don't uh, don't don't give the whole 45 minutes. <laughs> uh, we can do. I mean, if you've got an interesting story to tell and it takes 30 minutes, go ahead and send it <clears throat> because. Uh, it's worth listening to a lot of these stories that people have. And if your children uh, have been out geocaching and they have uh, uh, some ta ta story to tell, uh, let, them, let them do that uh, recording or however they, they want to do it. You know, I mean, because this is a friendly, family-friendly radio station and we like to have the younger generation on here as well. And we have, uh, we don't have any live callers to ruin that family friendly radio atmosphere. So you can, uh, you can do it that way as well. And, and, and if they have, a, if they just want to sit down and type me a, a message on, on the email, let them do that, you know, it, it, because their stories are, um, uh, really interesting and, uh, they, they have imaginations. To go with their stories so it's really interesting to hear children talk about their geocaching adventures now another interesting email that I've got uh, this wasn't this week but 
<clears throat> it was uh, 921, and it's called Teaching Your Children About G GPS. And I know a lot of people would like to uh, be able to teach their children some things that they maybe they need to know a little bit more about how to explain that to children. So here's the here's the uh, place where you can go to check this one out. And whoops, I hit the wrong one there. All right, go to um, theoutdoorsguy.com. Okay, that uh, theoutdoorsguy.com uh, by Noah Van Hockman, uh, filed under hiking. Do you remember being a kid learning how to use a compass for the first time? <laughs> yes, I remember that. Um, you know what? Uh, I always thought that was so hard, you know, to, to learn how to use a compass. And I'm still, to this day, I can go through a GPS, no problem. But the compass still throws me off a little bit. I have been uh, using a compass here uh, a few years ago where uh, I would go out and just not really be lost, but act like I was and take my map and lay it down on the ground. I line up the map with the um, with the north and actually find my way out of there as if I was lost and the, the, the good old compass is really a, a nice thing to have with you also in your backpack or your uh, fanny pack and when you're out geocaching make sure you take a, a compass and a map of the area just in case you went to put some new batteries in your GPS and find out that you forgot to put them in your bag or the ones that you put in your bag happens to be um, dead also. I've done that before. I've taken batteries with me and when I when my uh, GPS gets down to where I need to change the batteries I put the, the other ones in and it automatically just one bar out of five and oh that was aggravating so make sure you also have the map and compass with you learn how to you can search this uh on on the on the web and there's some really nice little videos and some uh instructions uh if you like to read about it there's uh different places uh, just search how to use a compass and it's simple once you when you watch this video or read about it it is so simple and also there's um, places on the website that you can uh, you can go to how um, let's see how did I find that one that was um, um, finding your directions without a compass um, something like that and it would tell you different things, you know, like, uh, well, with the stars at night. Uh, but there are um, other things that you can look for. Like, uh, did you know that the moss only grew on one side of the tree? And if you look that up, uh, it will explain that to you. Yes, uh, you can tell you're east from west because the moss, moss on a tree only grows on one side. Now, I'm not going to give that away, but um, you look it up and see. And uh, that's just one of the many ways that you can find yourself out of a predicament when you don't have a GPS or a compass. But I definitely do carry a compass and a, a map of the area when I go out. Don't depend on, well, okay, you know, that's, I'm going west and I was east of the car so you know i just turn around and go back because you ever been out in them trails when uh you have a a split in the trail or an off trail that you thought was the trail you was on and you turn on it and next thing you know your directions are wrong i mean your your subconscious your your mental picture of your directions gets backwards or sideways and you're really you're actually lost 
Now, you can take a chance and say, well, okay, if I go straight east, I got to run through, uh, I have to find a road somewhere. Okay, I did that before. I got lost one time with uh, with my two kids, and I said, well, okay, we'll just walk this one direction, and we'll have to find a road because it was in a state park. Not realizing how big the state parks really are. Wow. <laughs> I bet we walked for an hour. But, yes, definitely, we kept going in the same direction, and we did find a road. But you know what happened after that? Where do we go from here? Do we go this way, or do we go that way? If we go this way, are we going away from where we want to go? Or, or if we go the other way, are we going to be going away? Wow, it's kind of scary out there when you don't know. And if when you've already walked for an hour and, and just to find a road, and you're pretty much wore out, you're tired, you're hungry, you're thirsty, um, your kids, uh, they're starting to get ag uh, irritated and a little cranky there, but uh, depending on their ages. Well, we st we went down that one road, just, just the direction we thought would be the right way. And we walked probably another half a mile, three quarters of a mile, and we found another road. So then we still didn't know where we was going. And uh, it was an overcast that day where the sun wasn't shining. But, you know, when we did finally find uh, our way back, we was really glad to see the, the car where we parked it at. And uh, one good thing about the state parks and uh, uh, the other parks out there, uh, the they have signs that tells you different places, you know, like here and there and so we you know we, it's not totally a loss but it's a long way around it so we found a car and we headed toward the house because we was just that was the end of our our trip that uh we was just too wore out and the problem was though um it kind of wore me out driving back home because we were like um what was it 70 80 miles from home and uh, so the time we got home, it was nap time. I don't care what time it was, it was nap time. Okay, well, that's about enough for the stories today. And uh, we're going to go ahead and call this the end of the show. And uh, we've been 42 minutes into the show, 42, 43 minutes. And give us a call, or <laughs> no, give us give us an email, give us a voice message, and tell us your stories. Um, check out our videos uh, from the past um, on uh, at, on the um, aftercash.com page. You can find each podcast that we did from one on up to this one, uh, fifteen. So. Here we go. Uh, we're going to say goodbye and uh, hope you all have a fine weekend. Uh, hope you had a fine weekend. Yeah, this is Sunday already. So um, have a safe uh, work week and uh, talk to you next week on Hiker James uh, Geocaching Talk Show. When, uh, when you click on aftercash.com, you'll find us there. So, all right. Uh, See ya, and keep on catching.